What's going on guys and welcome back to another satisfactory video where in today's video I'm going to be showing you what these two items are you have the resource sink and the awesome shop and that's because as of recently I'm being bombarded with questions because people are asking what's that foundation you're using how are you building pillars where are you getting beams from and that is because they don't know about the awesome shop but I'm also getting questions like what items do you recommend buying first or what's your recommendation of making coupons pretty quick so I'm here today to break all that down from you. So we're going to start right from the beginning. So remember, if you're enjoying the content, make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe, but also leave a comment if there's any other guide you would like to see. So first up, we need to unlock the resource sink. So that is going to be under your tier two tab, resource sink bonus program. And we can see that the awesome sink is in here. Awesome shop, color cartridge and the build gun upgrade to customizer. And as we can see, that's going to take 400 concrete, 500 copper wire, 200 rods, and 200 iron plates. And then if you go into your specials tab, you can see right here, the awesome sink and the awesome shop. And if we go down to place the awesome sink, we can see it's quite a large building. And to be exact, it's 24 meters tall. And why I say that is because 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and that is on the 24th meter. And that is just hiding the tippity top of the beacon right there and the way you should see this is a massive trash can for any unwanted items you don't want and then all you need to do is just connect up a belt and the machine will do its thing and if we go inside the resource sink we can see this number going up right here and when it gets to 100 we'll get one more coupon but not every item you sink is the same amount of points deducted from the total number different items are all depending on how easy they are to make so if you was to put plates in there it'll be very little points but if you was to put supercomputers it'll be a different story and then all you need to do is click print coupons this will spit out out and then you can just put that into your inventory next you're going to want to go into your specials and go into the awesome shop and we can see if we put this down we can go inside it'll welcome you and then it'll tell you the amount of coupons you have and then you can just go through each topic uh, well, each category to actually unlock what you want. So you can get some lights in here. You can go into management and you can get conveyor walls, conveyor lifts, uh, conveyor floor holes, uh, sorry, and a lot more. So for example, with a new patch that's just come out, I've not got these foundation sets yet. So if I just click on these and then go into the checkout, it'll tell me what's up in here. And then I can click buy all. But it doesn't just do that. You can actually go into parts. And if you want to quickly get some biofuel, you can buy some in here. If you need some AI limiters because you can't automate AI limiters yet for smart splitters, just buy them in here. But also, yes, you can get a coffee cup and then you get the golden coffee cup once you complete phase four and just some other items. Do you want some nukes? Do you want some explosive? Or do you even want some more ammunition? Buy it in the awesome shop today. <laughs> That was a bit cheesy, wasn't it? But also, if you go into the purchase category, you can actually see if you was to buy a mug or anything or any items, they'll go into this box right here and then you can just bring it over to your inventory. And then next up, all you need to do is for those that was asking about the foundations, you just go into materials and you can see the different foundation types here. Then all you do is select it and then just paint it just like it was in paint. Simple as that. But let's just say you're early game and you're like, okay what do i need to unlock a specific item as you can see right here it says unavailable and you can see unlock by researching oil processing in the hub at tier 5 but you also need base building in the hub at tier 1 and that is because for the coated concrete you actually need plastic the next thing i want to talk about is how to get coupons in early game and all you need to do is just look around for some hard drive locations because scattered around them, you will see items that you won't need to use yet. And obviously, some deadly creatures. <laughs> and then once you've done that, just go back to your resource sink, put the items into the storage like this, and just get it to be sunk. And then that will give you some good coupons early game, but also for you to collect hard drive for you to scan for some alternate recipes. The other option as well is just to find a node you're not just using, make an item and get it sunk. And as you can see what we've just done here, we've set up a smart splitter here, which is sending the silica into storage. But then once the storage is full, it gets sent to the awesome sink. But you don't even need to put the smart splitter there if you don't want to, or if you've not unlocked it yet. Just make the actual 
silica or whatever other item and just send it straight to the awesome sink if you're not going to use it. And this right here is a good prime example of how to use it inside your factory because all you need to do is whatever item is going into it from the constructor, let's say, uh, the silica is going in here and it's going through the center output, which is going forward just here. And this is set to overflow. So if this line is actually fully backed up, it will get sent down that line and go into the resource sink. And that's how you kind of want to set it up in your base. And if you remember in episode two of the season two Let's Play, that's exactly what we're doing here. So as you can see, the wire is coming along the belt. If it can't go into storage because the storage is full, it will move across this line and then go into a resource sink to make you some coupons. And then when you get later on into the game, you can start to see that things start getting larger and things get a lot more complicated when it comes towards sinking stuff as well. But it does mean that you will get a lot more coupons. As you can see, we're sitting on 456 right here. So make sure you get them sinks down as early as possible so you can start unlocking some new stuff. The next thing you guys ask is what item do you go for first? I always go for the wall power outlets Mark 1. Because as we know, we need wall attachments for your power. And then they just allow you to attach cables to the wall or even come from the wall to the floor and just get, makes things more streamlined. The next thing I like to unlock is the conveyor lift floor holes because it makes things simple and clean. It needs no explanation on that. The next thing I like to unlock is structural beams. And just remember, you will need to be in tier three and four for these. But for tier one and two, I always get road barriers, metal pillars, concrete pillars, factory ladders, and modern walkways. Oh, and modern railings. Just because with them, you can do loads of nice little tips and tricks, which you saw in the tips and tricks video, in fact. And then I go over to the customizer and I always get the concrete foundation material straight away. The reason being, this consumes more concrete where the actual uh, normal metal foundation that you have as by default consumes concrete and metal plates. And you don't really want to be using them metal plates at the beginning. And then the next thing after that would be your signs. And I always go for it, which is uh, this one because I like to use the square sign 0.5 just for aesthetic lights and I always use the street lights as well because these are a lot more adaptable inside your base than the other two lighting and plus these need a lot more resources. And you don't really need to unlock a light control panel unless you want to because you can manually do the lights and brightness with inside the street lights anyway. Oh yeah, and then not forgetting your double ramp set because one, you can get up to the top of mountains quicker. It helps you going around for hard drive hunting which also helps you to get the items which you can put in your sink to get them early coupons and here's a fun little easter egg for you if you actually sink a coupon you get something very special yep and if you go into your transport you've got a brand new vehicle the cyber wagon and this is just one big old meme <laughs> if you actually go into the back and they put some coal in there you can actually drive it around but god is it a rough ride <laughs> and if you wanted to you can just put this on a plaque or just as a statue somewhere within your base to make it look nice or even use it if you want it. Just a reminder that you will drain your coal pretty fast though. <laughs> and there we go, guys. So thank you so much for watching and check out my other content right here. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And as always, keep smiling and I'll see you in another video.